You know that feeling that you get when you finish a book series and then you just feel dead? Relatable. So I just finished the Six of Crows uh, duology. I just feel dead. I thought I'd do book review Get Ready With Me. Six of Crows. How do I describe Six of Crows? It is a very good... <laughs> It's a good book. <laughs> the characters are good, the storyline is good. Criminal Prodigy, Kaz Brecker, has been offered wealth beyond his wildest dreams, but to claim it, he'll have to pull off a seemingly impossible heist, break into the notorious ice court, a military stronghold that has never been breached, retrieve a hostage who could unleash magical havoc on the world, survive long enough to collect his reward and spend it. Kaz needs a crew desperate enough to take on this suicide mission and dangerous enough to get the job done. He knows exactly who, six of the deadliest out outcasts the city has to offer. Together, they might just be unstoppable if they don't kill each other first. The reason this book is so good is because the plot is very, like, it keeps you captivated all the way through. And you're like, oh, are they going to do it? And obviously you know they're going to do it because that's... That's what that's what happens in books. They they get the thing they get the thing done that they wanted to get done. Okay, so Kaz Bracker. Kaz has a bad leg and he uses a cane to walk, like straight off the bat. Like interesting character. How did he get to be like the most deadliest person when he has a disability? And then there's Inej. Um, she is known as the Wraith because she can like climb anything and she can get anywhere without people knowing. She can like break in anywhere. Then there's Nina, who is a Grisha. It's in a world where there are people called Grisha who have like magical powers. Anyway, Nina can control people's heart rates and stuff and like slightly heal them and slightly change their appearance. Then there's Matthew, no, Matthias. They have to break him out of prison to get him to come on this mission. Um, he is from someone somewhere called Ferda, Fer, Fjörja. Fjörja. Virgins hate Grisha. They believe that their powers are unnatural and they kind of um, dedicate their lives to killing them. And then there is Jesper. Jesper like flirts with anything that moves and so does Nina. Jesper is Zemeni. He's from Novi Zem because basically it's like this fictional world and there's um, a bunch of fictional countries and they're all at war and everyone is, f uh, all of the different people are from like one of these different countries. Oh yeah, Jesper is like an amazing shooter. Bang bang. Um, and he has a gambling problem. And then there's Wyland, there's six main characters, and these are the characters that it's, like, the, they are the narrators. These guys um, are all needed for this plan to break into this, like, unbreakable place, and it's all really awesome. Oh, did I mention that they're breaking into Fjörda, you know, the place where Matthias is from? Oh, um, yes, also there's this new drug called Jerda Param and that drug Jerda Param gives the Grisha like amazing powers. Jerda Param is highly addictive and shortens Grisha lifespan. So they get into the ice court which is in Ferja territory so uh, Matthias sees him going on this mission as like Betray betraying his country and his people. The guy that they're breaking out of prison is the person who created and is the only person who has the formula for Jerda Parem. Basically, if this drug was to get out, the whole world would just be fucked. So they want to avoid that. So anyway, they get this guy out after like, <laughs> That's like the whole story of them, of Six of Crazy. They, they're getting this guy out, it's like this crazy mission, things go wrong, but they're, they're so, like, they're so good, they're so good at, like, being thieves and spies and shit, that they manage to get them out, and it's, like, so cool. I want to be Inej. She's so fucking cool. She is so fucking cool. 
so anyway, Matthias um, comes around, he falls in love with Nina, Inej and Kaz are like in love, and then Wylan and Jesper are in love, but you kind of don't know it. They get stuck, and Nina has to take Perem to save everyone. And so they get out, but Nina is now addicted to this drug, so she goes through withdrawal. They get back to Ketadam. The guy double crosses them. He doesn't give them the money that they deserve. And steals, kidnaps Inej. So, the second book begins. And it starts with all the crew trying to scheme to get Inej out. QA is the guy that they saved from the ice court. That's the prisoner that they were, that the whole first book was about getting. So, they get him. But they don't give him to the guy. They keep planning to get their revenge, get their money back, um, get QA to safety, get themselves to safety, and it just, their plans keep failing. And it's all turned to shit and the entire city is like having a parade to like try and find them and try and arrest these people. Obviously, they win at the end, spoiler, they win at the end. They get their money and everything's all happy and... But... Someone dies. One of the main character dies. I haven't read like a fantasy book for ages. Um, so I was not... I normally read... Cheesy romance <laughs> where no one dies. I was not expecting a main protagonist to die one of the six to die big spoiler but i just wasn't ready for it and one of the characters says we were all supposed to live and i was like yeah you were buddy what fucking happened to that uh the reason i really like this book is the characters i normally cannot deal with a book that has more like more than like three characters because i just get confused you know i just get bored i don't want to know about all the characters but I loved every single one of the six. You really get a feel for each of the characters and like really, really get connected to them. There was no boring characters in this book. They're so, they're all so developed. They're all so three dimensional and just so great characters. For me, the most important part of a book is the characters and character development. The plot was also really interesting. Yeah, I just didn't get bored. All of the characters are those kind of, um, they were all those kind of, you know, I'm a hard man, I don't have any feelings, I, I'm tough because the streets made me tough and I had to be that way, otherwise I wouldn't survive. You know those kind of characters who are like stone cold? I kind of stopped reading fantasy books because reading about those people over and over again just kind of bored me. These characters were developed in a way that those other characters weren't. I understood why the characters were the way that they were. Ah! It's uneven. Maybe if I just keep my fringe over my eye, then no one will notice. Because of this book, I have decided to take up tightrope walking. So, if I die, blame Leigh Bardugo. It might be pronounced Lee. Crooked Kingdom and Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. Great writer, great representation, relatable characters, interesting plot, re 